Welcome. In this video, I talk about microfilaments, which are also known as actin filaments. They are called so because they are made up of protein filaments, which are primarily composed of polymers of actin. Right. So microfilaments are made up of protein filaments, which are the polymers of actin. Now, actin filaments are made up of G-actins. G-actin is a globular protein with a nucleotide ATP binding site. G protein or G actin or globular actin is attached to ATP and they are found like this and they come and attached uh, side by side in this manner to form uh, the F actin or a filamentous actin. This forms an F actin. Now two such F actins, two parallel F actins twist around each other in right handed helix to form an actin filament just like in this figure. The two F actins has twisted together to form a polymerized actin, uh, actin microfilament right. Now of course you can see that there is a minus end here and it has a plus end here. Well, ATP associated with the actin monomer is hydrolyzed to ADP at some time after it's incorporated into the growing actin filament. As a consequence, the bulk of actin filament consists of ADP actin subunits. So at first, when the globular actins come and attach here, uh, of course they are attached to, to ATP, right? But after some time, of course the ATP gets hydrolyzed and now the bulk of the actin filaments attach to ADP. Now let's talk about microfilament assembly and disassembly. So of course it occurs in uh, the assembly occurs in two uh, steps: a nucleation, which is a slow and preparatory phase, and b elongation, which is rapid phase. Of course, we already know as we saw in the microtubule um, assembly and disassembly that uh, the elong the the nucleation process, which is very slow and only a few molecules. So um, the elongation, while in elongation process what happens which is rapid, so it occurs in a faster rate and it rapidly filament rapidly grows. So if we see in this picture, this is an actin filament and now this side, the plus side have higher affinity for a monomer. So from this side only the attachment of new G actins occur while well, this minus side have lower affinity for monomer thus from this side only disassembly occurs so at plus side assembly occurs and from minus side disassembly occurs now uh, we have to talk about the treadmilling process now because subunits are being added to the plus end and removed from the minus end of each filament at steady state the relative position of individual subunits within each filament is continuously moving a process known as treadmilling so what it is saying is that because we know that from plus side attachment is occurring and from minus side disattachment or disassembly is occurring of these f filaments so, uh, these microfilaments so that means every molecule is continuously moving attached from here then it is moving here because new molecules are continuously being added so all the molecules are relatively moving until it reaches the minus end and that gets disassembled so this continuous moving of relative position of individual subunits is the process known as treadmilling now these are some drugs that affect the microfilaments the first is of course cyto Calycin D obtained from a mold which blocks the plus end of the actin filament. Right, so if, if we know that uh, at the plus end assembly or new attachment of subunits occurs, so if the plus end is blocked, so no new attachment of uh, the or the polymerization of the actin filament could occur. Thus, only allow depolymerization at the minus end. So only the depolymerization is occurring of the actin filament. Second is phalatoidin. De obtained from a poisonous mushroom which binds to interact with actin filaments and prevents their turnover. Third is latrous euclin obtained from a sponge which binds to free monomers G actin and blocks their incorporated polymer. Right so of course um, it acts the same way that the first one does that 
and uh, the, although the function is different that it acts on the g actin to block it and this one acts to block the plus end but ultimately their action will be same because at the end uh, both the function would lead that assembly would stop by binding to g actin and blocking it no assembly could be occurring at the plus end while disassembly could continue to happen in the minus end function of microfilaments it is responsible for the muscle contraction due to high concentration it is uh, involved in cell movement third tubular gland formation fourth gastrulation which is the cell migration process during embryonic development fifth is the cell division cleavage and furrow formation sixth is involved in cytokinesis and seventh responsible for nerve outgrowth now let's see as we saw in the microtubule video that there are certain um, motor proteins of microtubules which are dienes and kinenes but in the case of actin filaments the molecular motor protein is the myosin myosin is the mo motor protein in case of actin filaments so myosin of different types from type 1 to type this is 18 so the conventional type is of course type 2 and non-conventional type is everything from type 1 to type uh, 3 to type 18 right except myosin 6 other myosins move towards plus end of the actin filament so all these myosin move from minus end to plus end right except the myosin 6 which moves in the opposite direction now of course if we see the structure of myosin we can see that it has two heavy chains these dark blues are heavy chains these are two heavy chains and there are four light chains two essential light chains two essential light chains and two regulatory light chains these two essential light chains and two regulatory light chains so that's about that mm. thank you for watching please like and subscribe the channel